Fellow Trey Gamer here, welcome back to the channel. Here we are for playoff round two. And we can see Baltimore, Denver crushes Baltimore, Kansas City crushes Dallas, Green Bay crushes Houston. So it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be us versus Green Bay in the Super Bowl. I don't see Green Bay losing to Kansas City, but hey, any given Sunday, you know how that go. Let's get to these experts. All right, so Danny and Joe says we're going to steal the show. David James say. Denver will win this game, and guess what? They not. Let's get into it, baby. Welcome, football fans, to this matchup in the Axis Football League. My name is Dave Stevens, and I'm joined, as usual, by Mike Steele. Thanks, Dave. Playoff games are so exciting. One mistake or great play could be the difference between playing again next week and going home until next year. That is without a doubt. Let's find out who's going to advance to the next round of the playoffs and who's packing it up for the year. This drive will begin from the 23. Hike. Throws a pass. A penalty flag on the field. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team will accept the penalty. Dave, it really does happen on every play. And being honest, who am I to judge a lineman protecting his quarterback? That gets us to second down. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. <laughs> That gets us to third down. Cannon, back to pass, fakes the handoff and looks to pass. The defense was expecting pass the whole way. The safeties and corners had the top covered, which left that short pass as the only option. The punts away. Fielded at the 23-yard line. Makes the return up to the 40-yard line. This drive will begin from the 41-yard line. Hike. Airs one out. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Lining up on second down. Go! Throws a pass way down the field. The tackle is made. That will move the chains. First and goal. Go! The QB with the handoff. That brings up second down. I don't care who's on the defense. You execute blocking assignments like that, and the runner's going to find Pater every time. It's good. The home team draws first blood today. Seven, nothing. The home team is off to a great start, grabbing the first touchdown of the game and pulling out in front. Willis catches the kickoff. Makes the return up to the 20. Let's see what the offense can do with this drive. I'm sure they'd love to go down and put an end to this lead they're facing. A flag on the play. The defense will accept the penalty. Mental errors are a huge part of the game. This one just creeps up pre-play for us all to see. Cannon pitching it out. Tackled quickly back at the 15-yard line. He lets one fly. Miss tackle. That will move the chains. Hike. 
Cannon handing it off. Second down. Tonight. He drops back, makes the throw along the sideline. Third down. The tight end lines up on the right side. Tackled back near the 44-yard line. That brings up fourth down. That's a safe play on third down. When you've got a long way to go, sometimes you're better off just picking up a few yards and kicking it. Here comes the kicking team. Number eight kicks this one away. The home team has a one possession lead going into the drive. Let's see what they can do with it. Hike. The QB makes the toss. Finally brought down by Stewart. That will bring up first down. Nothing puts the defense on their heels like a quick first down. It backs them up and keeps them guessing. That brings up second down. Second down. The QB makes the handoff. That brings up third down. A crucial third down for the offense. The first quarter comes to a close. The home team out in front for now. Seven, three, third down. <laughs> Number two makes the pitch. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Mississippi. Number two Mississippi. changes the play assignments. Dropping back. He makes the throw deep down the middle. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. There looks to be an injury down on the field. Go! Second down. Second down. Newton takes the handoff. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. It's runs like that, Dave, that help set the tone for this game. Nothing fancy, just our guys beat your guys. Team showed us great execution and determination on that touchdown. There's the kick. It's good. The home team adds another score. 14 3. The away team needs to get their act together, or this game might slip out of their reach. Wilson kicks it. Willis takes the kick. Makes the return up to the 19. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. Go! The handoff is taken by number 22. Second down. Quarterback to pass. He sends one way downfield. And he stopped at the 48. That'll be enough for the first down. Not elusive enough to make that into a big play, but still keeps that defense on the field. Hike. Snagged out of the air. That brings up second down. Second down and short. Go! 
He hands it to number 22. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. He continues to move the chains and keep this drive alive. Tonight. Makes the catch. He steps in for six. Number 89 generally gets some trash talk going on. You know he's going to let those DBs hear it the whole rest of the game. Tonight. The kick is up. And it's good. Denver recovered some ground with that score. 14, 10. The away team makes this a one possession game. Number eight kicks this one away. The home team has a one possession lead going into the drive. Let's see what they can do with it. Tonight. That gets us to second down. Number two, handing it off. That gets us to third down. A crucial third down for the offense. Tosses one to the back. Denver calls the first time out. That brings up fourth down. Number five on the punt. Fielded at the 17. Tackled after a return of 16. Let's see what the offense can do with this drive. I'm sure they'd love to go down and put an end to this lead they're facing. He hands it off. And he won't make it very far before being dragged down by number 30. That will bring up second down. Cannon lining up under center. It's a fumble. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Holloway is pretty upset with himself after letting that one slip out of his hands. This drive represents a great opportunity to send the defense reeling. Another score to extend their lead would give them the ability to exercise a lot of control in terms of play calling. Second down. Number two, handing it off. Third down. And he won't make it very far before being dragged down close to the 24-yard line. A flag on the play, pitching it off to number 45. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The home team is going to go with the results of the play instead of the penalty. And that's enough for a first down. Quick first downs like that keep the defense guessing. Second down. Sixth play of the drive for the home team. Go! He pitches the ball to the runner. The linemen take pride in that kind of play. The defense brings out its best gap filters, and the back still finds a way in. It's good. The home team extends their lead 21-10. The away team needs to respond to that score quickly to get the momentum going on their side. The kick is caught at the three. And he's brought down after a return of 18. The away team has dug themselves into quite a hole here. They've got a chance to regain some of that on this drive. Cannon drops back. 
heaves a pass. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Second down. Go! Sets his feet and throws to the right side of the field. And he can't reel it in. Third play of the drive. Tonight. He hands it to the runner. That'll bring up fourth down. Lining up to punt. Tonight. The punter punts it away. The offense should focus on time of possession here. Keep the ball away from the other team. Drag this game out. And that brings us to the end of the second quarter. The home team with the lead. 21-10, number eight. Rockets this one deep. Well, we've got a report from Emma Adams down on the field. Emma, what do you have for us? Dave, Mike, I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. He was upset about the on-field execution, but he was happy with the effort being displayed. He said, if you're going to make mistakes, at least make them at 100% and keep going. Guys, back to you. Thanks for the report, Emma. Third play of the drive for the home team. The QB steps back into the pocket. The QB will be sacked in the back at the 16. That gets us to third down. Sit up. Throws it way downfield. Penalty marker on the field. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The Mountaineers will accept the penalty. We had seen the defender talking to the ref a few plays ago. It seemed like it just paid off with the call. Tonight. Sends a pass up, picked off. And he stopped at the 42-yard line. Freeman did a fantastic job of reading the quarterback's eye and jumping on that route. The defense has a chance to come up big. If they can force a punt after that turnover, it'll give the entire team a boost of confidence. First down. Hike. He tosses a screen near the sideline. Second down. Tight end right for the Mountaineers. Hike. Cannon on the play action. That brings up third down. Hike. Steps into the pocket. Sets his feet and throws past the first down. Incomplete. Lining up for the field goal. It's up. It's good. They convert from 58 yards out. Denver eats away at the lead a bit. 21-13. The home team has a great chance to respond with this drive coming up and make this a two-possession game. The home team comes into this drive with a one-possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. The quarterback looking to pass the home team with the play action. Stop. That will move the chains. First down. Steps into the pocket. Cook makes the reception. The runner dodges away. <laughs> Clark on the carry. Tackled quickly. That brings up second down. Go. He 
dodges away. Stopped before he could break loose. The QB tosses one out. That brings up fourth down. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to... And he's in for the score! The offensive line did a great job creating a huge surge off the snap. That allowed the runner to shoot right into the end zone for the touchdown. There looks to be an injury down on the field. It's good! The home team widens their lead, 28-13. For a defense, this becomes personal now. They're starting to put points up at will. Willis takes the kick. Makes the return up to the 19-yard line. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. Throws off to the sideline. That brings up second down. Second down. Go! Coming with pressure, fakes the handoff. Young makes a nice catch. Holloway on the run. Second down. Lining up with two backs. That'll wrap things up for the third quarter. The home team with the edge so far. 28-13. Pitches it out to number 22. That'll be enough for the first down. After a run like that, it's so tempting to just keep feeding him the ball until the defense finds a way to stop it. Cannon hands it off. Second down. Lining up with five DBs. He drops back. Play action pass. Sacked. Loss of 10. Third down. Hands it to number 22. He dodges away. And he steps out. Up near the 34, that brings up fourth down. That's a smart play call. You were in a bad position on third down. Take a few yards and live to fight another day. We've got an injured player down on the field. The kicker kicks a deep one into the end zone. The away team could really use a big play here on defense. Something to spark a comeback. The home team will start from the 25-yard line. Go! Tackled near the line. Second down. The home team from the gun. He steps back to pass. Number two fakes the handoff and looks to pass. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. When you can complete those types of throws for first downs, it forces the defense to move men out of the box, which opens up the run game. the toss to number 45 that will bring up first down Go. 
Number two, looking to pack. He drops the ball. The tackle is made. The runner has to do a better job of anticipating contact and covering the ball so it doesn't get knocked loose like that. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. That gets us to second down. Cannon drops back. Throws one deep over the top to the middle of the field. And he can't reel it in. Third play of the drive. Hike. Play action. And it's intercepted by number 26. I bet the quarterback wishes he could have that one back. The offense will be looking to turn that turnover into points on this drive. Fire. Number two signals out to adjust a route. The QB signals out to adjust a route. Dropping back. He sets up and throws over the middle. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Second down. Third play of the drive for the offense. Clark on the run. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Being able to move the ball in the running game, especially, especially when you can pick up a first down, gives you so many options in terms on play calling. Number two, signals out to adjust a route. Quarterback to pass. Touchdown! I'll tell you, these two work on that in practice all the time. They could do this in their sleep, but it sure gives the defense nightmares. It's good. The home team widens the gap a bit with that score. 35-16. Don't let the score fool you, fans. This has been a very physical game, and it's really taken its toll. Willis takes the kickoff. And he's brought down after a return of 13. The away team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. And he's off. Stop. Denver calls the first time out. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. With that first down, the QB gets a bit more comfortable, which really helps his confidence going forward. He sets up and throws. Incomplete. Cannon back to pass. Buying time, and he's off. Denver uses their second timeout. That will move the chains. Receiver gets up with the big first down motion. Pretty sure the defense have seen enough of that already. And he can't reel it in. He drops back. He lets one fly deep down the middle. Incomplete. A crucial third down for the offense. Cannon dropping back. The pass connects with number 48. Denver uses their last time out. Cannon lining up under center. Steps into the pocket. Russell makes the catch. Hey. 
Cannon back to pass. He sets up and throws up beyond the first down. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Not elusive enough to make that into a big play, but still keeps that defense on the field. Cannon looking to pass. Throws the ball. He makes the catch in the end zone for a touchdown. That's a play they won't mind seeing over and over in film this week. Red 44. Red 44. Cannon back to pass. Denver comes up short in the two-point conversion. Denver eats away at the lead a bit. 35-22. What they need now is a big stop on defense to keep the momentum shifting. Makes the return up to the 47, and the receiving team will hold on to the ball. The home team should focus on time of possession here. Keep the ball away from the other team. Drag this game out. Omaha, the quarterback Omaha. signals out to adjust the route. Go. Dropping back. Dodging the defender. Scanning the field. That brings up second down. Second down and long. It's that time again to select the Mike Steele stud of the game. Mike, who do you have for us today? This is a clear choice for me today. I'm selecting Newton for the home team. Overall, a great performance. 